back, we have laser implant specialist Dr. Preeti Desai joining us back on the show. Happy New Year to you. And to you as well, yes. Susan. How were your holidays? They were uh, very nice. Family Good. visiting, lots Good. of cooking, lots of eating. Good. Yeah. You were mentioning during the break that a lot of your uh, clients uh, come to you and say, why are you wearing those high-tech glasses and why are the sutures so small? And I guess what you, you wanted to focus on today was the fact that there's been a lot of changes in dentistry. Uh, the standard has really risen up since uh, even 10 or 15, 20 years ago. Yeah, you know, when I was in dental school, we trained uh, with bare eyes. So what you could see is what you could see. That's how you would treat people. So you had to have instruments that were big enough that could work in the mouth and yet you could see with your bare eyes. And the repercussions of, say, taking out a tooth, for example, it's like, oh, you just took out your tooth, you're goal-oriented. You didn't think of the repercussions of how sore would it be to the gum, to the bone, all these side effects of treatment. And today we have so much more technology, research, and science to support the fact that as we do treatment, the patient benefits of things are minimally invasive. And that's kind of the, the catchy word right now is minimally invasive. Sure. And we kind of call it mini, right? Minimally invasive, say, erbium treatment or right. with the laser. So you, if you see better, you can work more precisely. Then you can work faster. When you work faster, the patient's out of there faster and they have less pain, less bleeding, less discomfort, less swelling. You know, all these things, it pays off, right? Mm -hmm. And so actually with magnification, I can see six to seven times bigger than what we can see right now. What are some of the procedures you would do that have come in your eyes the furthest way in terms of pain, recovery time, things like that? Everything I do, I used to be able to give narcotics for pain and discomfort. I never give narcotics, maybe one in a million now. Mm. So the patient tells me, no, I just didn't need it. So that's the number Fantastic. one feedback, yeah. right? This is a microscope. You can see six to ten times the magnification. And on top, you can see what you can see with your bare eye versus what I see sitting up just wearing my loops. Mm -hmm. It's amazing mm -hmm. the, uh, the preciseness that you can work with when you can see something this big. Sure. Yeah, it's like yeah. a telescope, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I know we have some other pictures we're going to look at as well. Yeah, Ooh. and for example, implants, I mean, we've talked about that at length, but we're also minimally invasive. We don't have to cut teeth down, so we're more conservative. Right. We just place one implant to replace one tooth. We don't have to cut five teeth to replace one tooth. Right. So again, minimally invasive, and the materials that are available in the market are strong enough so they can chew and eat for the patient. Absolutely. And no longer do we have to have this, this... <laughs> the sound of the drill. The, the sound of the drill. <laughs> We, we are uh, always being told by the patient, I hope you're not using the drill, right? I mean, it's a horrible sound, it right? Is, truly. At, you know, hundreds of thousand RPM. Now we have a laser, which actually just sprays water. So it's like a power washer. It sounds like a popcorn machine, actually. So by and large, are drills gone from every dentist's office or just the really good ones? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, you're putting me on the spot there, Susan. <laughs> okay, so. There are still times that I do need the drill, yep. um, but certainly it's minimized. Sure. Yep. Okay. And for example, on the upper left here is how we we do cavity preparations and it was big holes in teeth but now because we have magnification we can catch cavities sooner yeah. so we can be minimally invasive and just do sealants for example mm. but if it's caught soon enough we can right. see it then we can work small and Absolutely. precise and on the upper left this is looks painful. The, <laughs> and actually it's not this is Tylenol if you need it okay. right mm -hmm. um, I used to be able to suture on the lower right with big you know bow ties yes. and now on the other areas, you can't even see where I've sutured. It's no. almost invisible. No, the one on the bottom right looks painful, but the other yeah. ones don't look And now you can as... compare before, sure. <laughs> you know, finesse treatment and right. after. And now with those sutures that we're just looking at, would they dissolve? or? Some are dissolving, some are not. Okay, Yeah. And people walk around with them for weeks if you need sure. them, and you don't even feel them. Yeah. yeah. They're like hairs, as fine as hairs. That's awesome. Yeah. And then what's this? And sometimes we still need blades to cut in on. Of course, the lower right is the awful-looking blade where we used to use it. Mm. Now on the upper left is micro blades. They're so small and finesse. They're almost one-tenth of the size of regular blades. Right. So if you cut little, you don't feel as sure. much, right? I guess the key is if you know you have a dental issue, get in and deal with it because the longer you let it wait, the better chance you're going to have one of those huge tools or the big drill coming out. Maybe. Yeah, the scary stuff. The scary stuff. <laughs> you want the easy stuff. We want out. easy. We yeah. want fast. We want you out of there and happy. That's right. <laughs> and recovery time is less, I'm sure, with the, the, the better the equipment, the, the less time. Yeah, the and I mean, we didn't touch about, upon that, but when we do microscopic dentistry, the inflammation, the swelling, and the pain 
is minimized. So you don't have to take, you know, narcotics and T3s and Percocets. Mm -hmm. You can take Advil and actually function. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you would have surgery and you can still have an interview that yes. day. Yes, yeah, which makes a great... Which makes a huge difference, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Good to know. It was a great uh, segment for today, Dr. Desai. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Susan. Uh, if you have any questions for Dr. Desai, all the information is on the screen. Camelsperiodontist.com. We are back after a quick break. Stay with us.